Remember when we used to make jokes about how no one would ever pay a single dollar? Yep. To have their name- people actually were pay more likely to pay us to not be mentioned Yes, this? yeah. Well, they're paying us now, baby! Wh what? Yeah, that's right. This uh, episode of uh, Open House is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Ooh! Yeah, only stuff you can eat. Best berries in the biz. Best berries in the biz. We're gonna tell you more about that later, but first... Hey, let's start the Open House, because now we're red. Does this mean you can pay me now? Yeah, here you go. No. Give her 70% of what she deserves. Yeah. Keep marching! What is that, a dollar? <laughs> yeah, but I need change. Jesus. You get paid when you develop upper body strength. And receipts! Precious. First question this week comes from Jolie. Oh. 23, what other members of Funhouse, sorry, what other member of Funhouse would you swap hairstyles with for the day and why? I feel like I know what most people I was gonna say, we all know what it would be. We'd all swap with Adam. Yeah, Adam Kovic. Adam doesn't even, didn't even realize that he had great hair until he was like 28. Yeah, that's weird, I don't well, understand. You know, you know what happened? I met Omar. I want, uh, I want that. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I want to look like that sex of a man. That makes sense. And then I started growing it. No, actually, true story. I saw a picture of Stalin when he was young, and someone said, to get that hairstyle, short on the side, long on the So top. I know the exact picture you're talking about, because Stalin looks hot as fuck yeah, in that like, picture. It's like the picture of young Stalin. I've always thought young Stalin was hot. The further adventures of young Stalin. I would trade my hair with, I would trade my hair with Lawrence. Thank you. Obviously, I mean, like, Lawrence spends a, a good amount of time fixing his hair in the morning. Two minutes. He looks really good. One. Yeah, he, he does, looks like fucking but Clark Adam Kent. just gets out of bed. Wait, you have like hair product in a Ziploc bag that you use. Yeah, yeah, both both you guys no, have hair product floating around drawer, here somewhere. But I, I only use that like... After we go to the gym, why are we talking about hair? What is happening? That was, was a question. question. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was a question. Let's talk about Stalin again. God, what a great leader. <laughs> I would want Matt Peake's hair because I just want that beard once. It is a magical beard. What do you have? You named any of the creatures that live inside the beard yet? <laughs> hey. Uh, next question from Paul Shark. What's the dumbest thing you've ever spent good money on? I have the best. How many answer. Star Wars books were there? Oh, Star Wars books are cheap. They're like, they're like eight bucks. That was not bad money at all. I th those totally. I enjoyed them thoroughly. Uh huh. Uh, and then you put them in a dresser drawer, and then you threw them in a dumpster. I still, I still think. <laughs> yeah, but that was after like twenty years of reading those books. And then the books. dumpster coughed them out. <laughs> Get back in there! Um, no, I, uh, I think I spent, I spent a lot of money on that Batman suit. That was easily the. And it wasn't the dumbest thing because I really enjoyed it and I loved wearing it and I really loved the things that I did in it and my dad just won a costume contest, a cruise for two, because he wore the Batman suit. Oh, that's a good investment. Uh, yeah, it was a good investment. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I <laughs> got drunk and registered Big Booty Lovers one night, but we've already, we've already heard about that. <laughs> I knew about that. So I think the other one was I left a $500 tip at an IHOP because the server was giving my coworker shit and I hated that guy. $500? Wow, you're like Johnny Depp. Yeah. Except you don't beat women. He didn't beat her, he threw a phone yeah, at her. Yeah, the phone, the phone beat her. beat her. Yeah, right. the phone Blame Apple. I, well, I, once I did get really mad at my girlfriend, so I drove to Walmart, got a track phone for 30 bucks, and threw it at her. And that's not very expensive. I could have bought an iPhone and I didn't. That's so true. That's not a waste point. of money. Thank well, you. James, what about you? I had a perfectly reasonable, justifiable Six Flag season pass. And then I spent the extra 50 bucks to add on Hurricane Harbor, the water park next door. Fuck yeah! And it was not worth it. Oh. No. Well, that wasn't me. You went with another woman because we d you didn't have a season past the Six Flags at, at all when we've been together. Ooh. So who was she? Well, I was going to say the who one time I had fun at Hurricane Harbor was when Elise was running because she saw a, a bucket that poured water. She went running down a sidewalk and I told her not to run because it's dangerous. So she stopped and then skidded on her heels and fell on her butt. Was worth it. That's good money. Uh, one time I looked at my bank account. I didn't have a job. I was currently penniless and my car was very low on gas. I had $50 left in my account. I really wanted to go see the preview of Sky Captain in the World tomorrow at Comic Con. Yeah. So I bought the ticket to Comic Con instead yeah. of getting gas for my car. Right. And never looked back. Uh, Matt Peak, I think I already know your answer, but what is it? What do you think my answer is? Oh, I think I know what it is too. You, spit, you waste your money on so many fucking things all over the house. There's oats all yeah. over the place. How are those oats doing, man? <laughs> There's still a lot. He buys, he buys like 15 magazines a day. He loves magazines. You love Mag magazines? Oh, magazine loves reader? Loves magazines. Teen Beat? Those appreciate him. No, value. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the last time I, if I've ever bought a magazine. He also bought all the Star Trek seasons on DVD and Blu-ray. Seasons? Not That's true. an investment. I That's borrowed them from my family. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just lying except for the oats. Matt Peak, what is, what's your answer? Uh, probably, I, I got from my brother this last Christmas a giant whoopee cushion. Well, how giant are we talking? It's really big. <laughs> Could you, float out to is, sea on it? Huh? could you float out to sea on it? Uh, mm, maybe a small person could. Um, but the thing is, 
every part of it is scaled up, including where the air comes out. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't do anything regular, different from a regular whoopee cushion, except it's harder to hide. Yeah, I was gonna say, you want a small whoopee cushion. F. PM. Uh, Funhouse's rich uh, great uncle dies and has left you a ton of money in his will on the condition that you spend it on philanthropy. What does each Funhouse member do with the money? Uh, I would spend it on toilets. Uh, Bill Gates has been trying to like invent a new toilet or something. Good money should be spent on fixing our toilets. Mm -hmm. Cause there, are, there are serious problems, because every time I shit in the toilet it always sprays bucket. It sprays back hits me in the butthole. Well, I don't want a wet butthole. That should be, that's my slogan. I don't want a wet butthole. Be the change we see in your poop. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's probably not healthy though. You should get that checked out. Yeah, <laughs> it's you're eating too much. many pennies. <laughs> they can't even fit in the bowl anymore. Um, I would spend that money to uh, cast Steven Dorff as the lead in a very, very huge summer blockbuster. Like what? Blade? Uh, yeah, I'd probably Blade 4. <laughs> Just rotate that A, it looks uh, like a 4. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so Steven Dorff is in Blade 4 as a vampire hunter. It's right. called Dorf to Hell. Wait, he's a vampire hunter now? Dorf yeah, to he's Hell? A what? What a twist! Yeah, Dorf to Hell. Damn, I um, wouldn't expect that. Dorf and Snipes back together once again yeah. for the first time. <laughs> yeah. What about that old dude? Is he back too? Did they battle in the streets of Hong Kong because there's no way we're getting this made without Chinese money? <laughs> <laughs> I would use that money to uh, unlock a lot of hidden funds. So. The problem is in America, uh, there's a lot of money that's tied up in things that aren't getting used. I would agree. So I would start with myself, give myself about a year, take off, play through all those games that I bought on Steam, mm -hmm. finally unlocking their value for the world's economy. Too much wealth concentrated into Steam accounts that aren't being used, so I'll solve this backlog problem. Do you want to invest in Blade 4, Dwarf to Hell? It should say BL4DE. Yeah, but how do you pronounce that? Oh no, Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna start a campaign called One Laptop Per Atom, uh, where every year we give a poor Adam a laptop. Hojo MC Oho. No, Hojo, Hojo Makoho. It's really far away it's and the Spanish. text is really small. Isn't that, or Hojo Makoho. Isn't that Oho? Ho Ho Makoho. Oh my Hojo, god. Ho Ho Makoho. Ho Ho Makoho. You've been to Ojai? Come on. Uh, they say, I have been suffering from vertigo for the last three weeks and would really like it to stop. Would you kind folks have any trips, tips, and or tricks on treating vertigo? Uh, wear a one of those wingsuits all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, so if you fall, you don't have to worry about it. You just go hands out yeah. and you soar, soar right to the finish. I was gonna say you just have to sit down all the time. So you gotta be in a chair all the time, bring a rolling chair with you anywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And then that way you're never standing up. As close to the ground as possible. The speakers. At all times. The speakers too, yeah. So yeah, you need cool. music when you're- And a uh, cup holder. Uh, so it's basically a cool wheelchair is yeah. what it is. <laughs> and you get wheelchair parking, it's great. <laughs> Lawrence, did you already answer this? Not yet. Uh, so the problem with vertigo, you're too high, you're looking down, you're afraid you're gonna fall. Yeah. It hit the ground, that's the part that hurts. Take it out of the equation. Flip yourself upside down. So you get yourself in a harness with wheels, much like Elise is talking about, but I'm saying you're vertical completely. You break the brain to fix the brain. Exactly. So you're upside down, like a Batman-like Some kind thing. of cage harness that holds you upright, even though you are upside down. Think Silence of the Lambs, but flipped. All right. Completely. Uh, I'm guessing you... his vertigo comes from flying. It's yeah. a very common problem. So what you do is you always carry a parachute, grow your beard out, mm -hmm. and then also wear a turban. That helps with the head. Mm -hmm. And then carry around blocks of tofu in your luggage. This is very it's important. Healthy. Yep. Get your nutrients. Tofu is good for you, and it will stop vertigo. <laughs> Matt Peak. <laughs> mm, just take trains everywhere. Take the train. Go. Right, hey Peak, I want to go to Hawaii. Thoughts? This is from Miss Tessame. Since ELR, 11 Little Roosters, is about gaining access to a super weapon, what would your design be for a super weapon capable of mass human destruction? Um, mine would probably be Kathy Griffin. You get it, they don't get it. <laughs> just, I just said, <laughs> That's all it was, that's it, that's all. I just, she's probably a lovely person in real life. Um, mine's a space catapult. It's a large catapult that you, that you fly the parts into space and then the the thing, the little scoop, that's what the planet Earth goes in. Okay, I like this. And there, when you hit the button, it launches it. Uh -huh. And it just fires it off and fires you can aim it at the sun. How many payments of 29.95 is it? <laughs> 48 trillion, <laughs> but they're easy payments. Okay, all right. I would be more of an opiate of the masses type deal. Bruce is correct. The nation, the nation, nay, the world is suffering wet assholes. So True. I would invent a toilet so perfect that no one would ever leave it. It would be a combo bidet hair dryer. So it's gonna spritz your asshole down, dry it up. Your butthole's gonna be so puckered clean, you won't want to leave and mess that thing up. 
So then the nation, nay the world, is going to be sitting on their toilets all day, not mm. working. Yeah. Collapse of global economies. Everybody's going to die to death on their sweet-ass toilets. Adam? Um, well, humans need water to survive, so I would just drain all the oceans. Just keep drilling until it goes down the drain. That's how it works. Zeptrodal, how do I explain to my significant other that I just spent 400, is that euro? What is that? Is it euro? On a sure. Nintendo Switch. Yes. I see you spend a little bit more money. What? Yeah, because the best way to make up to make up with a, a girlfriend who you think you might or a significant other or boyfriend, girlfriend, anyone really, is uh, with some Sherry's Berries. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, there's only one way to get Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99. It's a good deal. Just visit berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Click on the microphone in the top hand, where are you going, Adam? Get my money back. Click on the microphone in the top right hand corner and type in open house, that's berries.com. Use code open house to help support the show by supporting our sponsors. Use code open house. Do you guys think that berries would, when if someone like offended you, and then you got some Sherry's Berries? Yes. Yes. You think that berries would, work? would always win me over. Elise, asking for a friend, would Sherry's Berries get a significant other out of any significant trouble? Well, you gotta buy me a Switch and the Sherry's Berries. Oh, so she wants a Switch too. We want both. Women always wanting it all. Zero to, uh... But seriously though, Zepto Troll? Or whatever? You should just, like, he or she should be grateful that you spent that money. You got a Switch gonna get and berries, Sherry's Berries. And a Switch. Jeez. Yeah. You're lucky. You're gonna get laid all the time. Good news is you'll save money on all those games that aren't coming out. <laughs> You're having a romantic night with your girlfriend playing ARMS, <laughs> and then you, you, you no. pop out the berries. Arms. Yeah. You'll be and then pop out her berries. <laughs> uh, Dard 151 says, what is your sci-fi heaven? Having sex with somebody but you prop the switch up on their back while you're fucking, and then you can play Skyrim while you're having sex. What are your thumbs doing? That's science reality. Well, it's fiction until March 3rd. My sci-fi heaven is uh, Elysium, but the one in the sky. The it's one that's one. like where all 